Hey, what's up? Operation iDroid here and a jailbreak has finally been released. It's been so long that we've been waiting for this, but now it is finally out and this jailbreak is pretty crazy because it's for iOS 9.2 through iOS 9.3.3 and it does not require a computer, which we haven't seen in years. Nevertheless, as of the release of this video, it's only compatible on certain iOS devices, but be sure to check the description to see if this has changed. The devices are as follows, iPhone 5S and up, iPad mini 2 and up, iPad Air and iPad Air 2. Now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering why you should jailbreak, and that's a great question. I've made a video on why you should jailbreak in the past, and if you're a bit skeptical about jailbreaking, you should probably check that out. However, a short and sweet answer is that jailbreaking gives you freedom to your iOS device, allowing you to do a ton of awesome stuff that Apple would normally forbid you from. Finally, this isn't an untethered jailbreak, it's actually semi-tethered, which means you must rerun an application every time your device turns off, and I'll get into that a bit more in the future. But for now, let's just begin the jailbreak process, which is very simple. All you have to do is head to iEmulators.com, and on the home page you'll probably see something about jailbreaking. If not, then you can just go to the direct website for the jailbreak, which is iEmulators.com forward slash jailbreak and here you can learn all about this amazing jailbreak and its developers and a ton of information about jailbreaking in general here if you are interested in reading that. Um, to install the application all you have to do is click here, click install, hit install jailbreak and then hit install one last time and as it says here if you're on iOS 9 and above, which you probably are if you're getting this jailbreak, you need to trust the application that is currently installing on our springboard. Now, at some point, Apple may shut down this application and it will not open for you. If that does happen, be sure to go back to iEmulators.com forward slash jailbreak and reinstall the application if it's there. If not, you may need to jailbreak using a computer. Nevertheless, as I mentioned, it is going to say untrusted enterprise developers. You're going to want to head to settings, general, scroll down to profiles or profiles and device management, and then click on the enterprise app, hit trust, hit trust again, and you'll now have access to this application we just installed, as you can see here. Once it opens, go ahead and click OK for notifications. Uncheck the PP if you don't want another application besides Cydia, which I recommend you do, and then click the button in the middle. Leave it here for a few minutes, I'd say like 30 seconds, and then lock your iOS device. As some users, such as myself, when I jailbreak another device I had, when you lock it automatically, it'll shut down your device and stop the jailbreak process. So just give it a few seconds, maybe a minute, and then lock your iOS device. Once you lock your iOS device, just keep it awake by pressing the home button here so that you'll be able to see when the jailbreak is complete. So as you can see, we just got a notification from that application. Just give it a second um, and just keep the device awake by hitting the home button, not the lock button as that may mess up the jailbreak. So just keep hitting the home button, keeping the device awake and in just a couple of seconds or in a few minutes, the device will respring and the jailbreak will be active. Alright, so my notification went away and my device still has not respringed. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock my device and see what's going on. So I just unlocked it. Um, oh, and there the respring goes. Um, so after a while, if the notification disappears for you, go ahead and unlock it like I did and your device will respring. However, um, hopefully for you, your device will just respring as it should because normally this should not happen but anyways my device is now respringing and when it's done we should have the jailbreak ready and access to Cydia. Alright once the device has resprung go ahead and unlock it you will see that you have Cydia now and when you try to open it it will crash which is not good so if your Cydia crashes um, you have to go ahead and run the respring again so I'm just going to click this, wait a few minutes, and go through the process again. Alright, so here we go, second try, it just respringed automatically for me this time. And now when I try to open Cydia, as you can see, it works. So 
If it doesn't work for you the first time, try again. Maybe if it doesn't work the second time, try again. And it honestly should work if you're on iOS 9.2 through iOS 9.3.3. And just give it a second for Cydia to load. Alright, so there we go, Cydia loaded. I was a bit impatient and I opened the multitasking bar because I was going to kill it. But uh, you just have to give it a second and it will work. As you can see, I kind of, I still have all my sources for my last jailbreak on this device, which is pretty cool. You probably won't have all of these, but as Cydia opens, give it some time for the changes to load. As you can see, it says cancel here. Um, if you don't have anything here and it says refresh, then click refresh and give it a second. All right, once the changes are done, the first thing that you want to do um, is go to the search and search for Apple File Conda 2. You really need to install this. If not, a lot of bad things will happen. Um, so definitely go ahead and install it by clicking on install and confirm just like so. And once it's done, it'll ask you to respring. So go ahead and give it a respring and we'll be right back. All right, so after the respring, you can go ahead and unlock your iOS device. Your Cydia will still work and you are now jailbroken. But before we finish this video, I would like to mention three things. First, as I mentioned at the start of this video, this is a semi-tethered jailbreak, meaning that Cydia will crash every time your device powers off and your tweaks will no longer work until you rerun the jailbreak application and wait for it to respring. Of course, this time the respring will be much faster than the first time you jailbroke your iOS device and doing that will just re-jailbreak your iOS device, which is pretty cool and isn't that much of a big deal, especially since this is a no computer jailbreak. The second thing I want to mention is that jailbreaking your iOS device will not allow you to enter Pokemon Go anymore. The application will just crash as soon as it opens. However, you can get around this by going to Cydia and adding this source that I have here by going to sources at the bottom left, clicking edit, add, and adding the source that you see here, Coke Pokes. So it goes as follows, Coke Pokes dot github dot io. And you want to go ahead and add that source. Once you add the source, It'll go through a whole process, then click return to Cydia. You'll have this source here. Go to all packages and install the tweak called Master Ball. Once you install this tweak here, it will allow you to go into Pokemon Go and your Pokemon Go will work just like if you weren't jailbroken. Finally, the third thing I want to mention is that since this is a new jailbreak, there are still some tweaks and things on Cydia that do not work with iOS 9.2 through 9.3.3. So with that being said, I'll have a list of tweaks in the description below that you all can use to see what works on your iOS device and what doesn't. Do not install anything that is not on that list because it will break your jailbreak and put your device in a boot loop, which will force you to have to restore your iOS device and lose your jailbreak. So be very careful as to what you install via Cydia if it is not on that tweak list that I have in the description below. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I mentioned, jailbreaking lets you do a ton of awesome things that Apple normally would not allow you to do, like installing emulators. So if you'd like to install all your favorite emulators, I've made a video on how to do that with a jailbreak in the past which I'll have in the description below that you all can check out and enjoy emulators on your iOS device, as well as if you enjoyed, please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. And subscribe for some more awesome tutorials like this one and many more stuff to come on jailbroken iOS devices. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.